Russia anticipates that its MiG-41 sixth generation aircraft will conduct its first flight by 2025, that will feature an electromagnetic pulse gun, and work is underway on a pulse detonation engine. After China's aggressive actions against a Philippine vessel in the South China Sea, an Indian Coast Guard ship has arrived in Philippines. The Philippines president has expressed his gratitude to India, for rescuing Filipino crew members of a merchant ship attacked by Houthi rebels in the Gulf of Aden this month. With his Philippine counterpart by his side, the external affairs minister has said, that India firmly supports Philippines for upholding its national sovereignty. Two fleet auxiliary ships of Royal Navy have arrived at Larsen and Tubro shipyard in India to undergo maintenance. Solar Industries has secured a 13.98 crore rupees contract to supply 30,000 multi-mode hand grenades to the Central Reserve Police Force. Russia has carried out a test of the T-14 armored gun yesterday, and it managed to hit a ground and air target situated 8 kilometers away. The RDO's Netra Mark 1 aircraft has generated export interest from Indonesia and several South American countries. Idea Forge has started development of logistics drone capable of carrying payloads of 100 kg over distances of 100 km. The DRDO is developing a 50 kW directed energy weapon that will have a range of 10 km against a wider range of threats. Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment is developing an indigenous track system that will replace the imported track systems on the Arjun Mark 1A tanks. French firm Starburst Accelerator has partnered with IIT Madras to set up 100 million euros startup hub, with focus on boosting defense aviation and space ecosystem in India. The AMCA project team is prioritizing two key features, spiral upgrades and modular design, that will allow incremental capability additions through newer blocks, ensuring that the AMCA is relevant for the years to come. The AMCA's modular design philosophy extends to its engine bay, that will allow integration of a new powerful engine variant in the future without extensive modifications. New features and functionalities can be integrated in the AMCA over time, eliminating the need for a complete overhaul until a midlife upgrade, and this approach will ensure that the AMCA remains technologically advanced throughout its service life. A picture of first stages Mark 1A variant sporting a bright yellow primer has emerged on social media, that has recently completed low-speed taxi trials, and will progress to high-speed taxi trials soon, before being cleared for its maiden flight. The slight delay in the first flight, is due to software validation for the new high-powered digital fly-by-wire flight control computer on board the first stages Mark 1A aircraft that will enhance the aircraft maneuverability and stability, making it a more potent aerial platform for the Indian Air Force. New Space Research and Technologies has successfully completed a 24-hour flight of its solar-powered high-altitude pseudo-satellite prototype. New Space is already working on a full-scale version of the HAPS, which will cost 450 crore rupees to develop, that will have an impressive payload capacity of 35 kilograms, and can stay airborne for 90 days. Today's top 3 comments.